Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting. Yeah, this is episode 10. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's episode 10 of uh, Oil Eye, the Oil Eye series. Oil Eye series. Oil Eye series. I'm saying Oil Eye series. No, I am. No, I'm saying Oil Eye series. Episode 10 of the Oil Eye series. No, I'm saying that. You're supposed to be sat over there. <laughs> Anyway, we're not supposed to be messing around. We're supposed to be doing a painting. So, um, I wasn't messing around. Yeah, you was messing around. You kept uh, talking when, no, I wasn't. Yeah, you was talking when I was supposed to. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you was. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> welcome to another episode of me painting and we're doing oil eye. As always, uh, Smidge, um, me and Smidge, we was walking around the garden that we planted. And uh, we was looking at the the uh, bees and things, and uh, we took some pictures. But then when I was in a garden centre, yeah, without Smidge, dum dum dum. <laughs> I put Smidge over there. You can watch from over there. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah, good, good. So um, <clears throat> I was at the garden centre, looking at this. Uh, be and it was covered in pollen. It was a better picture <laughs> than the ones I was taking in my garden. So I was like, yeah, that's a good one to paint, isn't it? Look how close we are and look how clear it is and I only used my phone. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it looked like it would. Uh, it was just maxed out on pollen. It's just had so much pollen from that plant that it's just poof, maxed out. So using my brushes, we will do a drawing. First, we will uh, do an outline of this bee. And so let's just go for it, <laughs> I guess. Let's be careful though, <laughs> because we want to do it uh, good. <laughs> I don't really have any puns. Damn it, no more puns. I'm all out. Oh well, let's just carry on, honey. <laughs> oh God. Right, <clears throat> B. So, gotta be careful. I want to do this so you can see. So I'll just move my uh, canvas board. I'm using a canvas board. It's a uh, 10 by 8. 10 by 8. I use 10 by 8 quite a lot at the moment because they're not too big for storage. And when you're doing 30 paint, 30 odd paintings, and as many days, you don't want too much stuff. <laughs> mm. Uh, wee. So, straight line for the top of the B. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm trying to sit back and look at the whole shape of the B. Oh, you can't really see. Oh. What if I go? Well, you can see more of it. I'm just doing this bit at the moment. Yeah, so if I sit back, and have a look, like I always say, sit back, have a look, and uh, just like my t-shirt says and my mug says, which is um, fun for me. And uh, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, that's the height, diddly do there, about there. Using my brush to uh, work out my scale, and we got the, the head. Something like that. There's one of those weird things. Bloop. Bloop. There's a weird thing there and the eyes are sort of there. Yeah, that's about that. I just use my finger to uh, get rid of bits. So that goes like that, that goes like that, that goes up like that. There's the uh, one of the yellowy bits which goes 
and uh, one of the wings. One of the wings is probably about here. Mm. It's quite hard to do this, to be fair. For me, anyway. I'm not an amazing drawer. And do this. There, so the back of the bee is about there. And uh, about here, I think. So imagine that bulbous area there. And then the yellow, more yellow there. And then the leg there. It's my bee becoming a giant bee. <laughs> Let me just check the length of that. <laughs> I thought it was. I was making my beer a little bit bigger. Just a bit of water. A bit. A bit of paper. Right where I think you think, and that that leg is about there. At the bottom of this, there, about there, that weird bit, a little like there. Never really looked at a bee this close before. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I like it though. I was just using the angles then, it was like that, to see where the leg goes and then this that thing there, it's like more like there. And there's the antennae and that stuff. And we can get rid of some of it. But we have to remember, we're not measuring, we're just painting and we don't need to worry if we're not getting the exact. Like I said in another episode, just throw your uh, reference picture away <laughs> and then everything's all right. And, uh, and then just tell people that, that, that that's how it looked. I was there. This is, it looked exactly like that. I painted it straight away. I didn't even uh, take a photo. I just painted, and uh, that's how it looked. So, you know, if you don't like it, then I don't care. Tear <laughs> <laughs> uh, art is a funny thing, isn't it? Everyone thinks they're the best at it. You get some right snooty people looking at your work saying, you there, don't like it. I saw a bee and it didn't look anything like that. So, uh, you know, yours is rubbish. You always have something to say. <laughs> Makes me wonder sometimes if I'm becoming one of those people. Because when I was looking at a uh, a drawing that's been discovered that was done by Gainsborough, and I looked at it and I thought to myself, "Well, those eyes aren't in the right place." <laughs> oh no, I've become one of them. Right. I think that'll do. I'm trying to f think about what I want to do first, really. This uh, plastic tray. It's getting quite dirty. Ugh. It is getting quite dirty. The paint, because I didn't clean my paint yesterday and uh, off the palette, and I came to it today and it was all dry on it. I was like, oopsies. That's not good. 
Right, I'm going to start with black, I think. As you can see, it's not a bad view actually for the camera, so you can see both if I move it slightly. You can see both. So that, that's quite good. So, uh, I'll get some black. Should I paint the background first? Mm. I'm umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, and not making any decision. So we'll go with decision of not making a decision. <laughs> okay. So right, look at this. The black, this is pure black from the tube. Pure black. Watch me hold it up against the black of that. Ivory black is not black enough. It's a shade lighter than what I need. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Have you ever noticed that before? That your black isn't black enough. Right, I'm just going to sit back a sec. So I don't like the way that where that wing is. Should be at the top of the eye. So I'm going to go like this. Move it up a bit. Let's get some of this black in. Uh, the top of the wing. Now then, what we really should have done Do this. This is when we can't see the B now, isn't it? Oh no, you can still see it. Because <laughs> what I'm thinking is I can use this and go like that and go, well, yeah, that's black there. I can use my reference photo a bit better. Blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank, blank blank. Wait, don't don't sing, don't sing. Need to not sing. Copyright infringement. <laughs> don't want to be singing. Don't want to get another copyright infringement. When you have a YouTube channel, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Here we go, black there. Oh, God, that bee was after me then. I thought I was going to get stung. Made me jump out of my skin, that did. <laughs> oh, the giant bee. It's just getting in the zone as well. We let's have another go sticking that on. <sighs> Creaky. That was scary, that was. <laughs> right, where did we get to? We got to here. We was trying to work out where that wing should be, weren't we? I was. B B Let me know if you're enjoying these episodes. Let me know in the comments. If you're not enjoying them, I don't want to know. <laughs> I only want to know the good things. Don't want to know the bad things. Whacking some black in there. Get in the dark bits. 
get in the dark bits, dark bits of the bee. Important bees are, aren't they? Very important for the planet. We need bees. We need bees. Why are they so important, Jason? Why don't you tell everybody? Why don't you tell the whole class? <laughs> um, because they pollinate stuff. I like watching the bees actually when they're all over the place. I'm growing sunflowers at the moment and uh, and the bees uh, were all over it. I took a picture. I don't really like the picture though. And uh, let me concentrate for a second. Just do this bit. Okay, now what was we saying? Saying we like bees. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. Anyway, let's get some cad yellow. We want to make the uh, this orangey, orangey color here. And I thought cad yellow would be the option rather than yellow ochre. I know I use yellow ochre quite a lot. And I think I'll use a bit of cadmium red and then think a bit of burnt umber. And I think I'll get it. I think that'll be it. We're getting quite um, arrogant about my colour mix in these days. <laughs> I'm like the best colour mixer since um, since the B and Q colour mixing machine. <laughs> you know, in the DIY places where you can choose what colour you want, and they uh, throw the, the house paint in the uh, machine and mix it up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm as good as one of those. <laughs> oh dear. Right, um, I come out with some odd stuff. Yeah, so we're looking. Hey, look at that, it's close to that. So we'll keep some of that. And then I'll make some over here as well. I'm just using a watercolor brush at the moment. I like using watercolor, blah, 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 blah. watercolor brushes oil painting because they're so soft and this one's cracking all over it like the uh, the outer part oh yeah burnt umber a little bit of burnt umber burnt umber we're in we're in so we're in day number 10 of doing paintings and uh, Really enjoy it. There's no way I'm not going to do this because it's so much fun. Think of all the videos I'll make. There'll be tons of videos on YouTube on my channel soon. And because I've got into the flow of making, I'll just continue after after I've done the full. Ooh, that's faded horribly, isn't it? Need some more colour in that. Bit more of the red. How close is that? That's got to be close. Oh, yeah, it almost disappears. So I'll, I'll do. Yeah, because I'm uh, getting used to doing videos here. I'll just continue. Keep making them. Do more like this sort of size. I won't do like big ones because I don't think it really works because you're doing like multiple episodes. And as much as I've enjoyed painting uh, Susanna, and I need, still need to finish her. 
I don't think as a video. I mean, it does work and it also doesn't work. I just think uh, if you can see the whole process in one go, it's probably better. Right, we're in a bit of a bind here. I'm gonna put more paint on my brush. There we go. Sit back, have a look. Let's bleed this paint down here. That'll do, it'll be all right. Let's mix in with the black a little bit, which I didn't really like, but I should have thought about that. Maybe do your orange first and then put your black on after. I didn't think, didn't think it through. Because yellow and black gave yeah, green. Sitting back, having a look. Needs a bit of the darker, darker of the colours. Down here. Maybe a bit more of the brown in it. Yeah, something like that to get in this bit here. Just tapping there, just tapping, tappy tap, 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 tap. Um, yeah, that'll do. Then I'll go, poof, the black in there and go, poof, like that. And then there's sort of a reddish kind of there, isn't there? It's kind of a reddishness. I might see if I can throw in a bit of the cad red into the black here. Just looking, 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 eyeballing. I feel like I want to do this bit here. This eye bit there, which is about there, isn't it? I think the eye is about there. This head's got too big. I think, anyway. So, I'm gonna use some of this baby wipe just to wipe it. it wipes it away nicely like the mistake never happened I see. I see this being not quite right as well. Yeah, there we go. We like, do we? Yes, we do. I think I'm going to use a bit of this red on the on the black while we're at it. Red and black, red and black. So that leg's a bit red and black, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. 
work quite well with the red and black colour, to be honest. Because it, it separates a bit, doesn't it? And then... Uh, comes out like that. And like that, and then... This weird sort of shape. That's even weird a bit, I like these. Oh my god, it's like it's got a hook on it. Like serrated feet. Use a bit of that orange. To, I know it's not exactly the same colour, but that's what's up there, but it might work. Mm hmm I might add a bit of white in that. I'll do. A bit more of the pure black and just to uh yeah. Do this leg as well. Oops, a bit ski with them, but never mind. Do this colour. It actually is a little bit like that. Not the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, about there. Uh, A bit more of this black and red. Black and red. To get this in. So we've got that going like that and like, like that there. that further as we were doing the picture can't we a bit of that black there get some of the black Taking shape actually. It's amazing how it starts happening before your very eyes, <laughs> just like magic. Get a bit of white. Another brush. I'm gonna do that bit there. It's sort of. It's almost this dirty colour with a lot of white in it. Like that. Close, close, close. Not far off to be fair. We'll pull a bit of that red in anyway so we'll get up to about right. Not remember what I said before. Not to use pure white. Don't use pure white. Now I'm going to mix it with this white that's already there. You see, it's not pure white. Never use pure white on the painting. 
if you can because it does look all right hmm. made that a bit too big but I can get rid of some of it when I do the background so I'm not too worried about that uh, what do we do now? I'm thinking we need to start putting a petal in there and then we can put in that and the background and then we can do the wings thinking. That's what I'm thinking. While we've got a bit of light though, might as well do these bits, add a bit more light on them. Like that. Like that. There, there, there. these hairy bits where they are. Oh yeah there's this light here as well. Probably should use a, bit, a tiny bit of blue but a little bit of white works too. You watch. Split that up. Some black. Split that. Like that. To go like this. Go around it. And add a bit more. Like that. And then. Uh, Got this antennae bit. I think we'll put that in afterwards. That antennae bit. Look at that. Yeah, it's a bit too big as well. There. sticks out about there sticks out there and you can see a bit of light there a bit of light there there and a bit of light on the end of this there A bit of that brownie red. And, uh, I think I can use a bit of white just to I'm playing with the colours a bit here, I'm not doing exactly what you see. Yeah, I'm liking that actually. I need to uh, just build that up a little bit more. Need to get that shape. I think I need more orange. Need more orange. Wash, brush, wash, brush. I keep sinking down. <laughs> so you end up seeing just like my head just on, on, on the top. <laughs> Probably should move the camera down a little bit. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Oops. Yeah, the whole thing just came down then. <laughs> Uh, so let's get some of this yellow and red again. 
RNG color and uh, just uh, build the RNG color up a bit. And then I want some of this yellow because I want to do this bit as well. I want to put some uh, some brighter yellow bits in there. Cause that's what you can see. You can see some brighter ones. If you don't like any, you can just tap them away. Will that do? Kind of want a bit of red in it as well. Not that much red. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'll do. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. For now, I can see little improvements that I could make, but we need to keep this painting painted. <laughs> Not keep this painted, painted. Keep painting this painting. Keep painting this painting. Yeah, we need to keep painting it. We need to get that. What do I want first? I want that, uh, the petal. So I want the petal. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's move that brush. <laughs> I, I don't know. Right, magenta. We've got some magenta. <laughs> And I thought, you know, ain't mixing this. I've already got some. Woohoo! And it looks nice as well. So I've got some magenta, some white. I might be able to use my leftover yellows to do my background colours, the greens and stuff, maybe. And then we need to do the wing. And then, uh, and then, big smiles, because that's another painting done. Only 21 more to do. <laughs> No problem, no problem. So let's so look at this magenta, see how close it is to that shadow colour. It's a little bit too dark. Now let's see how close it is to that shadow colour. Oh, I think it needs a bit of crimson in it. Put some other creamy crimson. Creamy cream crimson. <laughs> crimson. Mm. Not bad. So we'll go with that. Uh, 
this is the shadow side part of this. Goes to about there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now I need some white. So look how this looks with white. Looks about right to me. Yeah. and that gets cut off there. Yeah, that's about right. It's a more white because it's quite bright there, isn't it? We don't mind if it's a bit darker though. So I think it's a bit, tiny bit overexposed there. So we don't mind. Having a look. So here's a question for you. Have you ever painted a bee before? Hands up if it's your first bee that you've ever painted. <laughs> and hands up if you're if you're enjoying painting this bee. <laughs> and hands up if uh, painting this bee is making you think I want to paint a wasp next <laughs> I kind of do actually just sort of looking at the, uh, the shapes colors isn't it easy, the fact that it's already mixed, the magenta? God, isn't it easy? See, there is a benefit of getting uh, pre-mixed colours, as I just proved. <laughs> Let's just move this picture. Oh my goodness me. There we go. Might just fill this in and then come back with the white. Okay. 
I'm sort of thinking about the, uh, the shape of the leaf, uh, the petal, sorry, the shape of it. Okay, I'm getting some light. I think I've gone through one of those quiet periods again. <laughs> when I'm uh, when I'm painting away, do it does happen. You just sit in there, quiet, concentrating, thinking about what your next move is, the next brush stroke, and what's it going to do. Thinking that you probably uh, got to work out also what painting am I going to do tomorrow? Think about that. Thinking about work tomorrow again. Ugh. complain really, you know, back a while ago when uh, I was in deep doo-doo, I didn't have any money and I thought I'll get a, better get a job and uh, I mean I had a job but I mean uh, I quit my job because I was getting sick of it and then uh, I needed another job to pay thing for my uh, <laughs> horrible debts that I had, and uh, and the job I got the job and just got my head down and worked and paid my debts off. It was a good feeling, so I shouldn't really complain about having to go to work because at least it paid my debts off. Should be thankful. Should be thankful. Right, here we go. We're doing quite well actually. I'm quite happy with what I've done so far. I'm quite happy with it. green colour. So it's quite pale. Uh, I think it's a bit green and Naples yellow actually. Problem is when I start using lots of different colours I'm going to forget to write them all down. <laughs> and, uh, and when you're trying to paint along you're like oh no colors do I need? And I'll be like, I can't remember. <laughs> what did I use? And I have to watch this video again 
just to uh, find out. I'm just going to move this a second because it's now in the way of the painting. So I'll just move it at the top, but you remember what we're doing. It's almost done anyway, really. The hard bit's done, isn't it? The hard bit is done, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now it's just a matter of... Uh, Tidying it up in places and developing. develop as a painter I do you always get better always improving here's some of that color there I'm just gonna use some like get some more white a bit of a pale area there as well and there uh, go quite pale so it doesn't um, damage the look of this it's got a bit of a blueness to that as well let's get some blue because a bit of blue will help send things back I just want to do something first though this white make some of these a bit more obvious Okay, that's more like that's more like what I want. I want a nice flow, you see. There we go. Yeah, so light, bit of blue, bit of this blue. Throw it in this. I'll send that away a little bit because the blue and the the blue is more of a, a recession. Rece rece recession. 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 Whatever the word is, when it sends something back, it's basically sending it away. Whatever that word is, I can't remember. Hmm. <laughs> Something like recession. Recession. Mm. Can't remember. Right, I just wipe this brush. Don't mind that it's got a bit of the that colour in. So I want some sap green in, in with this. Oh, I tell you what, this is exactly the colour that I need. And we'll put in this. You can see a shape there. Get that shape in there. And then it 
it's got a bit more green in it for this bit here. Didn't like it really, didn't look right, so I'm just gonna change it a bit. I think I'll do, I don't want too much detail, do I? Some more of that green, and I'll put some. gonna sort of uh, dance some green in there. I'll do, uh, otherwise I'll be spending too much time with that bit of green there. Bit of green under there and then that, I think that goes to like there, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks about right. Green. Just picking out areas and just throwing in the colour, really. Not because um, things are quite blurry in the background, so doesn't matter, does it? between the lightish green and the darkish green. Sit back, I'm gonna look. Feel like I need 
to uh, need to do something with this to make that. Yeah, I think that'll do. I don't think I want to do any more with that background. Probably this. Let's get where the wing is. Yeah, I think that'll do. Throw in some colour here and there. A bit of crimson. Oh there. That gives us a in, interesting background of sorts, doesn't it? I'm really hating this bit though, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I do with it. How can I make it better? Some more sap green. There we go. Just sit back, have a look. That's alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I do mess around sometimes, piddling around. So I want to uh, improve the black on the side here, so we can bring that down a little bit. Bees, very interesting, aren't they? Very strange. I've got so many strange creatures. I'm gonna make that. I'm not sure if I can do it like this, but I'll give it a go. Like this, like this, and it goes to the Not really. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe one my bee has moved its uh, antennae thing a little bit. <laughs> Let's get some uh, black on this liner brush. See how long it is. Get a little bit of white. Put a bit of white in that black there. It just mixes. 
of the uh, of the black and actually while we're at it we should use some of this light colour mix it a tiny bit not too much and have some of that on this eye Oops, no. <laughs> Didn't want that. Get some black pack. Put in a few of the light hairs as well. as well. And these little light hairs. And there's a, uh, another antenna on the other side and it kind of looks white. Right, now we need to think about this. The wings. It's kind of a... I think what I might do is I'll put this grey in, which is almost a... mid-tone, I think. And then I'll use my, uh, oops, black there, black there, black there. Black there, black in the middle there. Use some of this dark. And then I'll use something white on uh, this brush. Some of this light and go across here. Oh, I need it need more white than that, that's just disappearing. <laughs> some little dots here and there as well. Choose this. It's got a little bit of colour on the brush so straight away it's going off white. So we need a bit of white going on here. A bit of
on that. There's a bit of a bluish grey hint on there as well. Along these. Don't really need that much paint, but it's what came out. Let's throw that white in there then. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a bit of white there going bump. A bit of white there going dump. Dump. Bit of white along there and there, and then it sort of goes like that. Just uh, trying to get the flavour of things going. There we go. Let's sit back, have a look. We're almost there, really. It's just some. Put in some of these uh, dots as well. So we've got like a couple here, blub, blub, blub. One there. Lots of pollen. Mm -hmm.
そうだなそんなのもあるんだサイドのボディーそういうそんなのもあるI think I will call this, call this one c i n e s e d because otherwise um, I'm like, I could spend probably another day, <laughs> two days, three days, ages improving this. And then、uh, I would realize that I should have been at work two hours ago and I'm still sat here painting. <laughs> They wouldn't be very happy. So we'll leave this one then for this. And、uh, I'll call this one finished.、Uh, thanks very much for watching this episode of The Bee. Uh, I'm trying to do a variety of pictures for this、um, oil eye. And、uh, I think I'm so far I'm doing quite well at increasing the variety. So I'm quite happy with the, the fact that it, there is a bit of a, a mixture of pictures. <laughs> I can just keep going, I can just keep going, and then when do you stop, eh? When do you stop? When do you stop? Right, we'll call it, call this one finished for the day, and、uh, It's, it's been <laughs> a good one. It's been a fun one. I've enjoyed it. I,、uh, yeah. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to paint this. and It's not perfect, but it's not bad. It's not a bad go. The leg, I mean, that, that leg, that leg needs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Gotta do it, haven't we? Got to. How can we leave it? c 
can't leave it, can we? Let's do it. Let's just let's just do that and then Got to uh, go call it some point. <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching this episode, and hopefully, I will see you in another episode. And uh, enjoy your painting. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page where you can join, or my Instagram where I'll post pictures, or you can join my Patreon and become a patron, or you can get one of my t shirts. Or you can just subscribe, like my videos, share my videos, and just enjoy them and do your own paintings. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.